Hey guys, I want to make a quick video on how to add the RTH VWAP or regular trading hours um, VWAP. And so, first, what you want to do is you want to pull up two charts. Um, one of them is going to be your normal chart, and the other one will be the one where we pull the VWAP from. And this will make sense a little bit later. So, I should have two charts up. This one chart that we're going to add the VWAP to, I am going to go to chart chart settings and uh, I'm going to change the time to my time just for, to make it a little bit easier same thing here on this other one okay so now we got both of them on the same time and I'm going to go here to chart chart settings and we're going to remove the evening session so I'm going to click no so it's not using the evening session that'll make it so it has like the overnight gaps and everything as you can see now we have this gap right here and then I'm going to go to analysis studies and volume weighted average price click here and now that adds the VWAP to your RTH I'm going to click here and I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. I'm just gonna set them to ignore on the top band and the bottom band. So it's just the VWAP for styling purposes. I'm gonna remove the display so it doesn't show anything. And then you can style this VWAP however you want. Let's say I want it to be black. So you can kind of mess around with the styling however you want it. Um, so I'm gonna put it like this. Name it RTH VWAP, and then I click to name label and reverse colors, and then you can also do value label like this. And what that'll do is that'll put this right here, and then put the label over there. And then what we're gonna do over here is because we want it to show on this chart we want it to show the overnight but have the rth vwap here so we're going to go to analysis studies and i'm going to type in study price overlay so it's this one study price overlay go to here click into here and then in settings and inputs you're going to have a choice between which chart you're pulling from and then what you're pulling from that chart. And so we only have two charts, but you can see up here we have this one's number two. So right here, it'll show as number two right there. And so if you have multiple charts, that's the easy way to figure it out. So it's two, and then all there is to pull is this VWAP. And so now it pulls it over here. And so we're gonna wanna change the chart region to one so it shows on the actual chart like this, right? And then I like to do this, you go to always use short name and source from study, click yes, because otherwise, let's look at it right now, right, we have VWAP, um, if we wanted to show RTH VWAP and use this short name that we have here, you want to click this to yes, that way it'll show it right there. And so now we have the RTH view up on a non-RTH chart. And then let's say this chart is just a reference. We don't want to see this, right? We want this gone. What we would do, click on this chart, go to window and hide window. And so now it won't even show down here at the bottom. And we will just have this chart right here. And so now if I tile vertically, it's literally only this chart right here. So 